Hey, welcome everybody to the uh, Mill Valley Film Festival premiere of this great film, Song for Cesar. As somebody who's watched this film many times during its development, I can tell you that there are at least three levels to this film. First of all, it's a great entertainment. It's a tremendous entertainment uh, from the very opening when you have those drums, you know, move into the piano and then the, and, 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 and then the guitars. Uh, to the very last uh, part of the film where people are, are singing, set me free. But there's a second level to this film and that's the educational level of the film. You're gonna learn so much about not only Cesar Chavez and the, and the farm workers, but also about the time in this country when that movement was going. And you're gonna find yourself educated to so many surprises by the artists, the poets, the comedians, the painters, uh, as well as all the people who hustled behind the scenes to, um, to make that movement go. Uh, you're going to be educated about the tremendous struggle, the physical struggle, the psychological dangers that people in this movement faced. But you're also going to be uplifted uh, in a way uh, that you're very, very seldom uplifted in a historical document, uh, documentary like this. But let me tell you, there's another level to this film. And that's a kind of the revelations about the deeper historical and cultural meanings that this film has. And let me, let me give you a couple of examples. Early in this film, so the great Maya Angelou, the African-American writer and poet, uh, she says, you know, everybody should see this film. And she mentions all the different ethnic groups. But the real meaning of that statement of her trying to include everybody the real meaning of that that's revealed in this film is that the reason everybody should see the film is because the farm workers were feeding everybody in this country. They weren't just feeding other Mexican families in California. The work that they did, the picking that they did, all of that food went all over this country. And that's why when the movement started, there were people all over the country who joined it. So you see, there's another level of meaning of how profound this movement reached into the entire country. The filmmakers, you know, Andres and uh, Abel, they have made this film as a kind of cry uh, to draw in the, the film viewers so they will understand our responsibility to the next generation, just as they took responsibility to the former generation of people in the Chicano movement who were part of this huelga, part of this cry. In Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta, uh, the Valdez brothers, all of the other people who were struggling in the field, these were not just people who were angry. These were not people just who were fighting for justice. This came out of their love, their love for each other, their love for their dignity, the love for their children, and, and the love for this idea that out of Mexican-American struggle and culture could come a kind of collective love that would not only help them in their own struggle, but it would be a message for the country that really what Mexican Americans bring and what these filmmakers have brought to us through this music, through this poetry is actually a form of love in this film. And that's one of the reasons that I'm so grateful to be a part of this project uh, and that I've been so uh, energized and myself healed in some way by watching this film over and over again. And I hope that for you tonight um, at this um, film festival, and this will be the first of many times that you will see, enjoy, be educated by, and see the revelation of Song for Cesar.